Our first speaker of the night has 12 years of experience as an actor, a writer, a drama therapist, including writing and performing in many places. And now he calls Canada home. He came in October 2017. Please welcome Rafi Minas. Hey, this uh, NASA rocket. <laughs> okay, psychiatrist put a monkey in the jail with a branch of banana on the top. He jumped many times to catch them, but he couldn't. He found a small stick outside the cage and put it and brought the branch. Psychologists returned this experiment with tiny stick. After many failed attempts, he found another long stick, but it was far from him. He pulled it with a small stick and go the branch. This experiment came from Gestalt theory. It was focusing on learning by repeating the case with many, with many time to reach the clairvoyance, focusing on what and how and on the present, by how, now and here. The question is, why do we need to trial in our life? Actually, trials give us a great opportunity to make change. Repeating the case with different senses, therefore, we might make change. Let's think about real life. How we can make a change to someone who has experienced trauma. For example, people after war. For example, people after war. What can trials make for them and how? That's possible. If you combine psychology with drama, we will have easy psychodrama. <laughs> that's kind of therapy that depends on variety of theater trials by psychological perspective. Psychodrama founded by Jacob Mourinho between 1819 and 1925. Besides, Augusto Boal had great, strong effects, especially with his game for actors and non-actors. This type of theater started with social issues. People discussing their local issues. For example, oppressed theater to Boal then evolved to education to finally connected with Moreno theory, psychodrama. What is the mechanism of psychodrama? After many sessions, we choose one story and repeating it. Firstly, the person involved in the scene, then ask them, what do you want to change and how? Next, we replay the story, but this time, person reviews from outside and ask them more questions after they have seen the story from different perspective. Repeating the story many times, people are able to think, are aware, and see many details they have never seen before. By doing so, trials make them, and they are able to change. For my trial, in 2015, in Aleppo city, I had a great opportunity to be part of the first psychodrama in Syria. That's at Syrian Army Crescent, collaborating with the UNCR. It was eight sessions focusing on anxiety that came after more than 15 sessions of psychosocial support and tests with kids between 8 to 12 years old. Last three sessions, we were working on reviewing and replaying. Some of kids, on show day, the change was tangible. But others, 
we won't see the change for five years or more. Some of them made strong resistance, and others took it like a play, funny. One boy and one girl were replaying and reviewing the story. He lost his uncle, and she did too. During the show, I wear blooded shirt and played the role of his uncle. Besides, the girl saw me, and she made a strong reaction. She cried. Otherwise, otherwise, we believe that questions like what could you do and how, now and here, question made a difference for both him and her. For him, we broke the resistance, and for her, we made kind of acceptance inside her. Trials we performed in safe space, theater, relieving now and here, reviewing inside and outside, by what and how to finally understand and imagine different ways to change, to grow up. In fact, trials are not only done in science labs, and it's not just to decide if something true or false. The theater, in this imaginative space, we can make miracles. Trials like this white point, very small, Trials in theater for change, and change for a better life. Thank you so much.